Hey guys, Solana from Red Moto, and today we're gonna be working on this 2022 Audi e-tron rear bumper removal. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need this particular bumper already painted to color match your vehicle and ship straight to your door and installed with the help of this video, the link is down below and up above. Or go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. Let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things you guys have to do is go ahead and take off this fender flare right here. So let me show you what it looks like on the other side. So it looks like that. So I went ahead and took it off so I can show you guys better on how to do this on the other side. So you guys can see there's like this metal clip right here that's attached to the body of the, uh, the bumper. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and everything else is just like little push pins right here that you guys need to take off, okay? So that's one thing right here. Then also over here, just an overview of what we're gonna be doing. There's this cover right here that we're gonna go ahead and take off. Again, this one's just gonna be held on by clips as you guys can see. Or yeah, it's just clipped on there so you guys gotta go ahead and pull it off. That's one right there. This tail light right here, you're gonna go ahead and take off with like bolts, that's right here. But the interesting thing about these uh, tail lights is that it's held on on the sides right here with these little prongs and they're like kind of difficult to take off. But as you guys can see later on, I'm wiggling it and it'll come right off. And these prongs right here are held on by those holes right there. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, you're gonna get one of these. I like to get something like soft or plastic like this one. Don't get anything rough or abrasive because you don't wanna ruin your paint. You get, you get to a corner. Let's see, you can start off at any corner. Maybe this one right here. You see? Go ahead and pry that off. So just pry it off slowly. Got to watch out for these clips right here so you don't break them. I'm just watching these clips right here. Okay, so the top clips are good. Now the bottom clips, let's see if we can just pull them out without damaging okay, open this door open this door So you, guys, so you guys can see I'm lifting up because these clips right here, they kind of like curve this way. That's one thing I didn't show you guys. You see these clips right here? They kind of curve downwards like a hook. So you guys kind of pry it up going up this way to kind of release it and then kind of angle it out. So this one's off. Now this cover right here, same thing. Get something soft like this. Kind of pry it right there. So this angle right here and it comes right off. So pry right here and pull it out. Put that down. And if you guys look in there, there's gonna be screws. So one and two. And it's gonna be like a Torx bits. And it's gonna be a T40 and it looks like this. It looks like a star looking thing. It's gonna be a T40. Let me see, is it T40? Oh no, no, no a T25. Let's go ahead and take this off right here. I love using this multi-tool because every tool that I need is on there. So I know some people are going to be like, oh, why don't you get a power drill? You can if you have one, which we do, but then, you know, people that's watching our videos don't have the ability for power tools. So I like to use hand tools whenever it's possible, just for you guys to see how to do it at home. 
So we'll go ahead and take that off. And this bolt looks like this. And we'll go ahead and take the other one off. All right, there's two of them that we took off. And this is when the fun starts. I'm gonna go ahead and sh show you guys. So you kind of just wiggle it like this. Just make sure you're not like messing with the paint or anything like that. But if you wiggle it slowly, there we go. And it comes right off like that. So not too much force, just wiggle it so it can just kind of come off. And then I just unplugged it. So for you guys that don't know how to unplug stuff like this, this is very easy. So most of these light bulb clips right here, all you do is there's like this like um, pin or like I don't know really what to call this. It's like a, a lever and all you just push down on it like that and it releases it. See? See the inside? There you go. All right. So if you look to the side right there, it's going to be the same thing. You guys have a uh, T24, uh, was it T25? I keep messing up, T25 right there. So you take off these bolts right here. Oh, so it's, this is a T25 and this one's smaller right here. Let me see if that's even, yeah, you gotta take that off. So let's see, that's gonna be a, see that's why I like these multi-tools. Let's see, I don't have to switch out so much. Let's try to see which one it is. And that one's a little bit too loose. Yep, that one's perfect. That one's gonna be a T20. So T25 and T20 we're looking at. Take that off. All right, so it looks like that right there. So T20 and T25. One and two right there. So guys, right here, it's the same thing. Let's see what it is. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be the T25, I believe. Yep, T25, yep, T25, and yep, T25. All right, guys, so you guys can see, or can't see, let's see. I'm blocking it now. Oh, the shadow is casting on it. All right, so it's kind of like right here, a bolt right here, a bolt right here, and a bolt right there. So there's three of them. So there's going to be three of them. One right here, one right here, and one right there. Loose already, you can just go ahead and take it off with your fingers. So, so again guys, there's going to be those T25s right there. There's three of them. So we're going to do that the same exact thing on the other side. Alright, so on top right here, you're going to take this off right here. So it's going to be the same thing, a T25. Let me show you. Don't want to change it up on you. T25 right there. Take that off. Same exact thing on the other side. All right, guys. So underneath, it's gonna be same exact thing, right? There's gonna be a bunch of like bolts. That's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but it's like T25s and T20, T20s. It's gonna be running across the bottom of the bumper right here, so you guys can see. But I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. All right, so just follow along on the sides. First and foremost, go ahead and take those off. And all you do is you're gonna go ahead and keep on going and following the bumper, the end of the bumper. And you're gonna see those bolts. You guys can see I'm just you may not be able to see that thing just kind of fell down on you but I'll hold it up but as you guys can see I'm just following along on the bumper and seeing those uh, bolts so I'll cut them out for you in a few minutes here it's gonna be my last one right here 
So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of them. All right. All right, so before we can actually take off the bumper itself, so you guys can see, we actually have to take this off also. So first, we're gonna go ahead and pry up on it. It's just held down by clips. Like that. Oh, pull this up. Take this off, put it to the side. It's gonna be a little hard for you guys to see, but you guys go back here right you see these holes I think, it's, I think it's gonna be this hole yeah so it's gonna be this hole right here so you guys can see there's bolts in there that's holding the bumper together also so we're gonna have to take that off so I believe there's four of them and if I'm not mistaken those are tens all right so you guys gonna need a 10 with a long extension like this one so you guys gonna go ahead and find so there's gonna be one on the far far right I think there's four of them so they're gonna be like both like this guys you see there's gonna be four of them so there's one on the far right right here and just look at the holes there's gonna be one right there another one over there and then another one over there Go ahead and take off those bolts, and then after that, we're gonna go to the side right here. I'm gonna pull it, but just be careful with sensors, okay? Whenever this this bumper is gonna tend to fall down, so when you pull one side, go to the other side and pull that one. Ours is already off on the other side, just to let you guys see. We have already pulled this side over here, so as you guys can see, just held on by clips. A bunch of clips that we gotta take off so we just gotta pull it then over here we gotta get a fly head because we gotta push this down these little clips all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and pull the side of the bumper so it's held on by clips so we're just gonna go ahead and pull this side All right, so you're gonna go ahead and pull the bumper a little bit like this because those clips are really on there very strong. So I'm gonna use this plastic tool that I have. So I'm gonna kind of wedge it in the clip right there. It doesn't usually come off like that, but that, that clip right there or the bracket is already broken. But you guys can see right here, this little tab that's holding that bumper together. You have to wedge the plastic tool or something flat in between the bumper and that tab because if you don't, what's happening is that the tab or that clip is really on there strong. So as you guys can see right here, I'm having a hard time. But as long as you guys take your time and use that flat tool that you guys have and wedge it, see, that thing came off. But see how hard I pulled it, the clip broke. But if you take it gently in there, it'll come off with a little bit of force. Like you pull the bumper and then at the same time, you're using your tool to pry up on that clip. And that should be all of the clips right there. I'm just double checking if there's any more clips, but there isn't. It's all up on the top side. last but not least see this one right here i'm going to go ahead and pull up on that and then the bumper comes right off because the other side already took off the clip all right right here you're going to go ahead and unclip that harness that's your harness for the sensors and that's why this one the bumper just fell off really hard but usually you kind of hold it up so it doesn't fall that hard to avoid it from actually uh, breaking you guys can see the bumpers are already off here's a closer look at that bracket so you guys can see the hard parts on top right there that's the one right right there that's the, gonna be the hard clip so you guys can see the clip right there it's gonna be like a bunch of like clips that's holding this bumper together but that's 
something you guys have to push up on. So right there, right there. And just push up on it. And if you guys push up on those tabs, it'll release the uh, bumper. And there's more on the side right there. So just follow that uh, bracket and you'll see a lot of like the clips that I'm talking about. And then back here, you can see right there, that's the uh, thing that's holding the bumper up too, where we took the 10mm bolt with the extension off. Alright guys, that's how you take off a 2022 Audi e-tron rear bumper. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'll answer all those questions for you. Thank you guys for watching.